Hello, my name is Novak. I'm the main developer of the new server Asernis. I will be showing you how to install Asernis and how to get in game real fast. Well, of course, first of all, register. You can just put in any information right here and you'll get your new Asernis account. Next, check out the setup. This will s provide you with a few links in order to get the game running. If the game doesn't launch at all, your problem is probably missing a VC Redis package or either a .NET Framework package. So just be sure to copy these links into your browser and just download both of the files. The first one will be the Redis package which will fix most problems with the game and the second one will be the .NET Framework package which will fix the rest. There we go. Just wait for the browser, there we go. Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5. This will be able to launch the client whenever you need to. Next thing go to the download page and download the game setup. This will download the main MapleStory game. I've already downloaded it so I'll be showing you what to do with it next. So go to the location where you've stored the download. In my case, right here in my download folder on the MapleStory.rar. So, when you find your folder and you found your file, please be sure, there we go, please be sure that you have WinRAR installed, because the entire package is RAR. If you don't have WinRAR, go to Google, Google WinRAR, go to their download page, and you can just download any version of WinRAR for free. Any version should technically work. After that, go back to your download, there we go, and just open it up, double click it, and drop it anywhere onto your desktop or anywhere else. I've already did this, so I won't be letting you wait. So next thing up is go to your MapleStory folder, which you just extracted from the raw file. In here, go to your HShield folder. This will be containing a little file called ehsvc.ini. You need to open this in order to get the game to work. You can open it with any program such as Notepad++ or regular Windows Notepad. Next up, copy the file path of your main MapleStory folder. This is the folder which also contains MapleStory.exe. You will be replacing it with, right here, you will just be replacing this line with whatever you just copied so that it says the path to MapleStory.exe. Just save that and you're good to go. Now, in order to get the rest of the game to run and in order to access the server, you download the client. The client is a really small 1.4 megabytes file, which may, after downloading, return a false antivirus positive. In order to make sure it doesn't, make sure all your antivirus programs are turned off or that you have added an exception. I'm really sorry for the resolution of the video changing sometimes, this recording program is pure shit. So next up, I'll be copying in IP, IP redirect and a Cernus launcher from the download we just opened into the main MapleStory folder. Overwrite the current existing IP redirect.dll. Then, by opening as administrator, you can launch the game. It will open up the original GMS MapleStory launcher. If this is correct, you just press play and there you go. You're connecting to the server. For any more questions, please comment down below. Hook us up on Facebook or go back to the site, send us a ticket, just whatever you can come up with. At the point of making this video, the forums don't yet work, you can always try to sign in and post something. I can't guarantee I've fixed it. Um, it should be fixed by tomorrow at most, and you can get any questions, you can just put them, I think, in bug reports or whatever suits best. Just put them anywhere, I'll look them up for you, and I'll fix your problems. So, meanwhile, the game is still launching, uh, there's a small error with this game version, it can load really, really slow. Don't be worried, it's opening up. As soon as it's opened up, it might say not responding, but it's just loading. As soon as it's done, you're in. <laughs> Oops. 
side. The re it's not actually stuck in this scenario. I'm logged in on another PC. You can log in, go to the control panel, and you can always fix your character and unstuck the account. This will disconnect your account for the server. <laughs>